Hello everyone, I hope all is well. Thanks for joining me again to watch this video. Eternal Island, celebrating over a century of Jamaica's majestic beauty. I've often remarked that if I were on a cruise ship touring the Caribbean and made a stop in Jamaica, I'm convinced the ship would depart without me. Yes, because I would not leave my beautiful island. This presentation will explore the eternal beauty of Jamaica showcasing some historical images that you have never seen before. And as you explore these images, I'll provide a description highlighting Jamaica, a land of beauty, water, wood, sunshine, and a place that everyone should experience. And to be honest, I'm sure some Jamaicans have not gone to these places. So sit back, relax, take a drink of coconut water as I go through what someone viewed 100 years ago and wrote about it as they toured Jamaica. Following that, I'll take you on a little overview of my trips to Jamaica and some times I have had that I've enjoyed to the fullest. My exploration of Jamaica begins with a reflection of sentiments expressed by people over a century ago. Through my research, I discover the enduring affection people have for this nation. The literature I consulted on confirms that my passion for Jamaica is not unique. Indeed, many people cherish this gem. In the early 20th century, Kingston was often mistakenly given the title for Jamaica. However, those who ventured beyond the capital discovered places like Bogwalk, situated roughly 10.5 miles from Spanish Town. Traveling to and from Bogwalk, one would encounter the beautiful waters, carriages, boats, a reminder of a time when there was no automobile, when such journey would require careful planning, including planning to take food with you to enjoy your trip. It was common for travelers to pause at a rest stop, engaging the other travelers and soaking up the ambience. This historical perspective not only celebrates Jamaica's natural beauty, but also its rich cultural heritage, inviting us to participate the island's unique charm and timeless connections people have with this land. According to the writer, there was an excursion that was very popular, and that one was to the Blue Mountain Peak, which stands over 7,000 feet above sea level. The journey from Kingston was approximately 29 miles. It was a serious one, and sometimes challenging. In Kingston, movement was facilitated by buggies, allowing travel from Hope Road to Pepin, Interestingly, these vehicles were referred to as electric cars. This showed that Jamaica was early in its modernization. Yes, they were all around as seen in this photograph. This traveler seemed to have seen a lot. They traveled from Kingston to Newcastle. And according to the traveler, it required preparation, especially to stay warm due to the extreme elevation of 3,800 feet. Newcastle, known for its military camp, often had a historical connection to Jamaica's infrastructure. This writer seemed to have gone to everywhere in Jamaica, including Port Royal, which was a significant stop for this individual. According to the writer, Port Royal was one of the wealthiest places on earth until the earthquake in 1692. That halted its vibrance. Despite this, the place of Port Royal remains a captivating destination that is rich in history and beauty. Have you ever visited Port Royal? Mandeville, nested in the Manchester Mountains, flourished as a town with daily train services from Kingston to Williamsfield and then onto nearby stations in Mandeville, except on Sundays. Traveling by train in Jamaica commands respect due to the distance and let me say that Mandeville has been considered a health resort, not just today, but over 100 years ago. As a matter of fact, it was classified as that. Mandeville's climate is consistently cool, making it a favored spot for both locals and returning residents today, who appreciates the weather. From certain parts of Mandeville, you can gaze into the Santa Cruz Mountains, with Malvern being noticeable. This is an area that has a similar climate to, of course, Mandeville. Mulvern is situated at an elevation of over 2,500 feet above sea level. And of course, it at that time 
had a charming village and, of course, a private house which was used for boarding home. Overlooking the plains and the sea, with nearby attractions to West Falls, Bamboo Avenue near Holland, Sugar Estate, and Lover's Leap. A cliff soaring 1,500 feet above the sea level. It is important to know that this information, although 100 years old, still captures the essential aspect of St. Elizabeth's beauty. The person also visited Montague in the parish of St. James, which was developed by the Spaniards on the northwest coast. It is said that Christopher Columbus, when he came, he did not discover Jamaica. On his second voyage, was impressed by the bay's beauty. The heart of Montego Bay has been tourism since the last century, and it started with a hotel, which overlooked the town and centered around it to make accommodations for many. Not far from the town is the Doctor's Cave Beach, known for its white sand and salt water, maintaining a temperature of 80 degrees making it a beloved spot by many. Nearby towns like Lucy and Hanover, approximately 25 miles from Montague Bay, were accessible by buggy, showcasing Jamaica's enduring natural beauty. Let me also say that many people ventured from Kingston to Monique and other destinations, utilizing station buggies for transportation and exploring the country at their leisure. Jamaica has always been a wonderful place, as evident in historical accounts, praising, for example, the Monique excursion. The village of Monique is nested in a cool, pleasant place called St. Anne. It is known for its production of sugar, rum, pimento, and coffee. It boasted back then a commanding view and a handsome and comfortable hotel that accommodated over 75 guests, highlighting a long-standing presence of the tourism industry in Jamaica. Tourists also enjoy the attractions of Duns River and also going to Fern Gully, Ocherius, Royal River and St. Anne's Bay and beyond died in our country for over a century. Duns River, located between Ocherius and St. Anne, featured a wonderful beach and a breathtaking waterfall. Ocherius is known for its Spanish influence and according to the writer, the last Spanish governor fled from the English. He escaped to Cuba on a canoe, and after that, the name Runaway B was formed, a name that is still recorded and used. I learned something from reading this article. According to the writer, Portland has often been overlooked, but plays an important part in Jamaica's economy, particularly through the banana industry. It is known as a hub as it relates to banana in Jamaica. The writer emphasizes that Port Antonio has a lush greenery and is very close to Blue Mountain, urging visitors and locals alike to explore this fascinating area. Despite its beauty, many Jamaicans have not yet visited Portland. I want to say, you must visit this wonderful spot. Excursion to Port Antonio often includes a visit to Moortown, a maroon settlement in the mountains. The maroons challenged the English and of course, they have the most scenic spot in that area. Another scenic spot that must be visited is Blue Hole, located six miles along the east coast towards Manchineal, offering unparalleled beauty that visitors should not miss. Pope Maria is another destination worthwhile visiting. As you move on, you must understand that every aspect of Jamaica is worth taking in. As I read, I realized Jamaica has been positioned as a health resort. Graham highlights, he's a doctor, that Jamaica's climate is remarkably uniform. He also made a connection to the Middle River Bar, Spring, located roughly 43 miles from Kingston. The Mill River continues to operate today, further unscoring Jamaica's long-standing reputation as a health and pleasure resort. Let me say that as we explore these 100 years in black and white, as we plan our experience in Jamaica for the future, let's remember we can now see it in color. Let me say that Jamaica was and still is renowned for its outstanding quality of entertainment. I am now going to take you on the movement from black and white to color to highlight some of the most remarkable spots I have visited and engaged with 
over the last five years. Stick around and take in this. Here am I trying to really chop a coconut in one go, and I think I might do it. Yes, I did it. Now, this is the beauty of Jamaica, and here's a shot from the Blue Lagoon. It's a beautiful place. I have some more content to share on that one, and I will do that. But you remember, remember you have to subscribe to this channel. It is so beautiful. I was in awe when I visited this place, and I would encourage you if you've never been to Portland, do that. Here is Holland Bamboo, filled with a lot of excitement. Yes, from time to time. You can stop, buy your peanuts, buy your coconut water, and just have a relaxing time. But remember, as you drive this road, there are several potholes seem to be hiding, and there are other drivers driving, like if they can't even wait. No, it's not a smooth road, and anything can happen. According to one person, that I bought coconut from, he said he has seen every accident you can imagine. Here's another driver just going around and there's a car coming up. He has to slow down and he's not going to stop. He's going to go around again. And of course, this is a driving that takes place in Jamaica. You just have to be very careful. I do drive on the road, but I allow them to go in front, not because they know the road, because I just want to be safe. I just want to end with this one. We're going up to Malvern to visit my friend. And it's a winding road indeed. You can see I'm just going around a corner here. And I'll straighten up another corner. Now this is the road I had to take when I was going to teachers college. It's so narrow that I wandered. But I had a friend, you know, he walked from Santa Cruz to Malvern because he just couldn't get a ride. Hey, thanks for joining me. And I welcome you to really participate. And give me your thoughts and share this content. Remember, subscribe. Mm -hmm.